Everything in life has meaning, though we don't always realize it. There are objects in our day-to-day -day lives that we may not even know have an additional purpose. Think about it. What do these symbols really mean? Well, you're about to find out. Here are 10 everyday symbols people don't know actually mean something. Never visited the riches before? Well, you're off to a good start. If you enjoy this video, be sure to click that red subscribe button for new, exciting, and informative content daily. On Off Button Nearly all electronic devices have a power button or switch. Computers, smartphones, gaming consoles, you name it, there's a button of some kind to turn it on and off. More often than not, the power icon includes a symbol of a vertical line and a circle. However, what many people don't know is that the symbol isn't just random. The line represents power on and the circle represents power off. But why specifically those symbols? What do a circle and a line have to do with computers? Well, as it turns out, they are actually binary code. The line represents a 1 and the circle represents a 0. In computing and telecommunications, binary codes are used for encoding data. Basically, it's computer language. Instead of using letters, binary uses a series of 1s and zeros to represent each character. Think of it like the matrix. Everything within a computer is made up of code, so it just makes sense that the power symbol would be represented by binary. Heart Every year on February 14th, we see this symbol of love plastered all over greeting cards, boxes of chocolates, jewelry, and even teddy bears. However, if you've ever seen a photograph or a drawing of a real human heart, you'll notice something a little odd. What we all recognize as a heart really doesn't look anything like the real thing. So where did this version come from? Some believe that the heart symbol as we know it first appeared with the ancient Roman Empire. The shape even appeared on Roman coins. They were imprinted with the Silphium plant seed pod. The herb itself was prized for its birth control capabilities, so this may explain why it was later used as a symbol of love. Statue of Liberty Crown the Statue of Liberty, or Lady Liberty, as she's sometimes known, is a 305-foot-tall statue in New York City's harbor. It was gifted to the United States by France in 1886. She was meant to celebrate the 100-year anniversary of the Declaration of Independence. She was designed by French sculptor Frédéric Auguste Baltordi and built by Gustave Eiffel, the same man that built the Eiffel Tower in Paris. The statue depicts a woman holding a torch over her head and carrying a slab reading July IV MDCCLXXI or July 4, 1776, the date the declaration was signed. Around her feet are broken chains and shackles. She's made of bronze, but shortly after 1900, oxidation slowly caused her to change color. 354 steps up, there's a cramped observation deck within the statue's crown. What many people don't realize, however, is that the crown itself has a special meaning. It's made up of seven individual spikes. Each of the spikes represents a continent. Basically, it's a symbol of unity and universal liberty. Pause symbol. Whether it's to make a phone call, have a meal, or take a potty break, the pause button can be really convenient at times. Before we were able to pause and rewind live TV, we were stuck either waiting for something to come out on video or we had to set it to record so we could watch it later. The same could be said for listening to music. Have you ever had someone trying to talk to you during a really great song? Just pause it. That way you don't have to miss a beat. Have you ever wondered why the pause symbol looks the way it does though? Many people believe that the double vertical lines that make up the pause symbol were derived from the caesura. It's Latin for cutting and is used in music when a break in a verse is required. For example, when one phrase ends and the next phrase begins. It's also used in poetry. The symbol for the caesura is very similar to what we identify as pause for movies, music, and even television. Barbershop Pole it brings to mind the image of a small-town main street lined with mom-and-pop stores and a barbershop run by a friendly, walrus mustache man in a white coat. Have you ever noticed that this symbol is used for all barbers, though? Why not use a pair of scissors or even a straight razor? Well, it dates back to the Middle Ages and actually represents a blood-soaked bandage. Before you start imagining Sweeney Todd, look at it this way. Back then, doctors considered themselves too posh to lower themselves to slicing people open for surgeries, so that task fell to barbers. In addition to cutting hair and trimming beards, they would also remove gallstones and perform bloodletting for the right price. 
Technology is constantly evolving, but sometimes it likes to give a nod to the past. When saving a document, what does the Save button actually depict? Find out at the end of this video. Gas Gauge Arrow you're driving along down the road listening to your favorite tunes when suddenly you hear a ding. Your gas gauge is low, so you pull into a gas station. You get out of your car, reach for the gas pump, then you realize that your gas tank is on the other side of the car. Don't worry, it happens to the best of us. So how can we ensure that we're not one of those people sheepishly getting back into their cars and repositioning to the correct side? We could use post-it notes, set location-based reminders on our phones, or look at the little gas pump icon on our car's dashboard. In most cars where the gas gauge is displayed, there is also a little gas pump with an arrow facing either to the left or to the right. This little arrow identifies at a glance which side of the car the gas tank is located on. Pretty handy, wouldn't you agree? Bluetooth Symbol being able to wirelessly connect our mobiles or laptops to speakers, printers, and other devices comes in pretty handy. It's also pretty commonplace. In fact, most handheld and personal computers come equipped with Bluetooth nowadays. It allows us to take multiple devices and unite them into a single network almost effortlessly. Granted, it only works over short distances, but it's still pretty darn useful. Ironically though, the bee-like symbol we all associate with Bluetooth isn't actually a bee. In the 10th century AD, Denmark was ruled by King Harald Blotten. He is best known for uniting the Danish tribes into a single kingdom. He was also known to be a lover of blueberries, which left some of his teeth with a permanent blue tint. This earned him the nickname Bluetooth. It was Jim Kardak who proposed using the legendary king's nickname in 1997 since their network did the same thing. Peace Sign one of the most widely recognized and inspiring symbols on Earth is the peace sign. It has widely been associated with hippies and the 1960s, however, it was originally a much darker symbol. It was created by Gerald Holtum, a British graphic designer, in 1958. He created it for a march in Trafalgar Square, London, as a symbol to protest against nuclear weapons. According to the designer himself, it was meant to portray a human being in despair. So in actuality, this inspirational sign is actually a representation of a man who has lost all hope in a world that's gone mad, stretching his arms out and downward in defeat and desperation. However, that's not how most people took it. Instead, they saw a more positive message. For many, it was a combination of the semaphore symbols for the letters N and D, standing for nuclear disarmament. Ampersand symbol. We see it in signs, business names, movie titles, and whenever we're too lazy to write out the full word and the ampersand. Don't worry if you didn't know this symbol had a name, a lot of other people never realized it either. In fact, most people just call it the and sign and leave it at that. Did you know that this symbol is actually hundreds of years old? Its origin can be traced back all the way to the first century AD. It was first used in the days of the Roman Empire and was part of the old Roman cursive. There are actually several different ways to handwrite the ampersand symbol, but nowadays we're more likely to see the version from our keyboards. VDB on American pennies for the most part, most of us don't typically pay a lot of attention to pennies. A jar of pennies is still worth something though, so they aren't entirely useless. In the US, pennies bearing the face of Abraham Lincoln have been in circulation since 1909. This was the first American coin to depict an actual person, as George Washington felt it was too monarchical while in power. However, pennies cast between 1918 and 1959 have a little something extra you may never have noticed, the letters VDB. These letters are the initials belonging to the 1909 designer of the one-cent portrait, Mr. Victor David Brenner. When the coins were first minted in 1909, the letters were more obvious but were removed only a few days later. These coins in mint condition can be worth upwards of $2,000 today. Brenner's design was recast in 1918 with his initials made smaller. They appeared on Lincoln's shoulder and remained in circulation until 1959, when it was replaced by a new design by Frank Gasparro. This was done for the sesquicentennial or 150th anniversary of Lincoln's birth year. So, do you know what the save icon really is? If you were born after the year 2000, you may have never seen one of these in real life, but it's a floppy disk. 
Before USBs and CDs, we had hard plastic diskettes. They were first introduced in the 1970s and, depending on the size, could hold between 79.75 kilobytes to roughly 21 megabytes of data. Not sure about you, but we'll definitely be looking at things differently from now on. How many other everyday things have meanings we're unaware of? We hope to find out. In the meantime, we'll be preparing amazing new videos for you. Now's your chance. If you haven't done so already, click that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on the fun.